Biotech. It's the cross-cut counter-rotating twin blade saw. So there are two blades that counter-rotate toward each other. Why does that matter? Well, now you don't have to worry about that big kickback that you can sometimes get. Maybe you have a super heavy saw. Maybe it vibrates a ton while you're doing those jobs. This is gonna help eliminate those issues for you and it weighs less than five pounds. So what you're getting today is that saw, the blades are already installed. You get 10 lubrication um, sticks, which is gonna help you when you're cutting through metal, like a hot knife through butter, might I add. Um, you also get the instruction guide that you need. And I'll let you know too, we do have other items available. There is a bag you can pick up to store everything, an extra set of blades, and even a laser guide that will fit perfectly on top of this. So if you want to get those and really complete this package, you can absolutely do that. Peter Kilcullen is here. He's going to show us how this works and frankly, why this is a better option for yeah. some people. Well, I love what you were talking about. You were uh, talking about these counter-rotating blades, I which is the big I thing. I get done around and You were talking house. about DIY. Yeah. I mean, just looking at it, when you when you see the saw, that it's, it's a much smaller footprint. So maybe you've seen the big, giant circular saw. Saw, and that's more than you need. Maybe that's what the tradesmen are using, the professionals, right? But here, I'm gonna open that up. Oh, I was doing a little bit of cutting earlier. Look at that, <laughs> it's a three and a half inch diameter blade, but there's two of them there. So what you're seeing with those two blades is just what you were talking about, that they're spinning in different directions, that counter rotation. And what that's going to do for you, it means you have a smaller, easier to handle saw that can still do the jobs that you want, meaning it can do all different types of wood and plastic. So we're talking about flooring, we're mm -hmm. talking about metal, as well. So you and I discussed when you want to put up a shelving unit, some of the wire frame yes. shelving in a closet, you're you able to do that. You know what I want to do? A pallet wall. It's we talk, all over Pinterest. That's the rage, right? It's awesome. So cutting those pallets. So if you're doing a pallet wall, you're doing something like that, that's a lot of different cuts to get that, that kind of patchwork look. Mm -hmm. That's what this is going to be perfect for. You're not going to need that giant saw to do this. So less than five pounds, really nice with the handles right here. You can see what I was doing there. That's the safety guard that's going to pop back into place right there. The glue sticks go right in here when you are going to use metal. But I want you to see that, that counter-rotating blade. Wow. It's very easy to handle. So what's gonna happen here is that you're not gonna have, you know, you're not gonna be fighting with the saw, right? right? right. The saw's not gonna stop and jam and you're not gonna have to fight with it. It really makes this smooth. And one of the things, and we'll show you a bunch of these things in a moment, is that those counter-rotating blades mean that you're gonna be able to plunge cut. So that was one of the things we were talking about. Uh, okay. So I'll even show you this. I'll just do that right here real quick. So a plunge cut means that we don't have to go to the edge of this material. I can go to the middle of the material. So, so just like that, so we were talking about if you were doing, let's say a doggy door and you yeah. wanted to put that in the bottom of your door, so you don't cut that from the edge of the door, you can but you're right gonna be middle. able to frame that out and you're gonna be able to have a plunge cut right into the middle of that with this kind of saw. So we were talking about all those DIY jobs, but then there's all those craft jobs that you wanna do as well. And you don't need a giant saw, but this saw can do I everything you need. I like that it's under five pounds. There's not a lot of big parts or things you have to remember. It's just gonna make it easier to do those types of jobs. If you're thinking gifting, by the way, I mean, yes, Father's Day, graduation, housewarming gifts, but think about the ladies too. I mean, we have jobs we wanna get done. You know, some of these things, like even doing that cord around, that molding that you wanna do around the house, this is going to be perfect. Again, because it's very smooth and you're just able to go right into that material without even have to thinking about the edge. And I think it's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to handle. Oh. That's the type of cuts that you can do. And I think, you know, we're looking at that, you know, it's a one by four or even less. That is the kind of material that you're gonna be dealing with. Right. And that's what this saw can handle, and it can do a lot more. So think about those jobs. Certainly, baseboard is a huge one, mm -hmm. and the quarter and the round. Those are jobs that you wanna do. You wanna put in that hardwood floor, this saw is gonna be perfect. Again, that's a lot of cuts. We're yeah. talking about the pallet wall, yeah. hardwood flooring, even that luxury vinyl tile, which is, again, a, a really great floor. For many of us, that's gonna be your hardwood floor. This is the saw that you need because it makes it so easy to handle like most of all. It's like that easy grab and go version. And we do that with other items around our house, right? Like maybe you have like the huge industrial carpet cleaner and then right. you've got the easier version that can still do those jobs, but you're not necessarily gonna build a house with just this one saw. Right, and for this us, that perfect in between. Yeah, building a house is never gonna happen, but maybe it is small plumbing jobs. Mm -hmm. There you can see copper pipe, PVC pipe, that's gonna be great. You know, 
I think about the guys who want to do stuff. Maybe they want to redo the garage. Yeah. So you want to put up a workbench, then you want to put up that pegboard to handle all the tools and things like that. This is where you want. We just saw some framing there as well. There's that wire closet shelving. This is going to be perfect because look at that. With it, you have all those cuts that yes, you have to make. Yes, that's not but easy. With a handsaw or a hacksaw. Oh gosh. That's going to be a lot of work. There's your doggy door. You can do that right there. And that's pretty unique to this saw, correct? Not having to start at the edge there. Right. That plunge cut. I think that's what what made this cross cut, the counter technology, the counter rotating technology, that's been all the difference with this. And I'll show you that again, okay. because not only the door, so we were using a fiber material here, but even in a you know drywall. So if I went just into the center of this drywall, but then I could go back and forth and cut the rest. So into that drywall, back and forth, and you get a really clean cut. So think about that if you if you want to add, you know, even uh, let's say even an electrical box that mm -hmm. you're trying to do or a larger uh, switch box, you're going to be able to do that right into that drywall without a problem. It really makes it a lot more simple. And it is the idea of having something that's more effective. Right. Yes, it's going to be quicker and look cleaner, but that's also going to make it safer for you if you're not having to work as hard and deal with the kickback when you have one blade that, you know, can kick back on you or has all that vibration or it's heavy. If you're not having to work as hard, I feel like just inherently it's going to be a little safer yeah, for you too. Exactly. Easy to handle. You're not worried about some of these other, you know, difficult things that can happen with a, a single blade, single, you know, direction uh, circular saw. I mean, we, we don't need it either because we're not doing those jobs. I wanted to show you, I know we were talking about some of the other things that come with it. You can get the extra blades. You can also get that laser as well. Now, the laser is going to be tough. I mean, I can see it. Yeah, we're on the sunlight. But sunlight. again, you can add that laser, and that's going to really help you. So maybe if you're doing flooring or you're doing something and you want to be able to maintain as straight a cut, so we definitely right. can't see and it. it's only 22.46 right now for that the laser guide. If you want to pick yeah. that up, it's on five flex as well. I think it's really change. helpful. I don't know if we can even see it on yeah. my hand or see it down there. Well, it's hard when I, you're outside. See if I, if I go camera. to a darker material, guys, maybe you'll be able to see it there. But you can adjust this so it's it's exactly where you want it to go. So for so many of us, we're going to do our pencil line, mm -hmm. right? We're going to always, you know. And measure you can twice, see it. cut once. Mm -hmm. So we can do that. And then you have the laser guide that you can put right on your pencil mark so you can stay straight. And I think that's going to be really nice as well. Oh, and I'll show you. I was going to grab the, the uh, lubrication stick as well. So you get 10 of these right. when so you when, order. When you're doing metal, that's just going to go right in there. And you're going to push that down. And then you're able to feed it in onto the blade because this is going to lubricate the blade, which is a lot more necessary when you're using this on metal. So what are we talking about with metal? We're talking about that metal framing. We're talking about even diamond plates, something like that. Oh. We're talking about using this on uh, copper pipe, mm -hmm. things like that. That counter rotating is going to be super nice because it's going to be easy to go right into those materials. This is so great. If there's yeah. someone in your life who's a handy person, a DIY type person, right. um, or you, maybe you've had this list of home projects you've wanted to do for the new year. If you pick up the right type of tool, you know, it's going to make those jobs a lot easier, which means you may actually right. do them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's exactly. exciting, right? If I mean, how many things have been waiting because you feel like it's going to be a huge pain? <laughs> right, right. But all these different things, you know, we're talking about the uh, the drywall. It'll do that. I mean, honestly, the drywall, you can get precision cuts, but it's super simple. Certainly the plywood. And this is that, that, fi that plastic fiber board, which I think is excellent and a great way to do that. This is that MDF. Again, you can, you're going to be able to cut that. Here's that pegboard that I was talking about. Yeah, Same thing, even in something like the pegboard, when you want to get in the middle of that material and cut it out, you can plunge cut that. And then that's the thing. What I just showed nice. you, most circular saws, if not all circular saws, can't do. I'm plunge cutting, and then I'm going backwards and forwards. That's something that with the large circular saws that you can't do. Mm -hmm. Remember, that blade's only going in one direction. If you pull back, now it's no longer cutting. So that's something that's completely different with the technology of this dual rotating, this counter rotating blades, forward and backward. That's why, you know, those really are the things that you cannot do with a right. regular saw. And so you're gonna plunge cut it, then you can go back and forth to your line and cut out that square and make it super easy. It's gonna easy. make it easier, yeah. it's gonna make it go faster. Um, normally, I'll let you know too, this is usually about $130, so it's a really nice price break right now, over $30 off. Um, we do have FlexPay available, and if you're new to FlexPay, that is for everybody who's shopping. It just breaks up that payment into even equal monthly installments. There's no interest whatsoever. So 
under twenty dollars, and you could get a brand new tool home. Give it a go. Give it a test run, even. You have thirty yeah. days to try everything out and see what what power it can give you. I mean, it only weighs. It's under five pounds, which is right. great. Think about those jobs. And some of the reasons that we shy away from those jobs are that we don't have the proper tools, or the tools that we have just don't make it easy enough. So think about again. I want to go back to that pallet wall. That can yeah. look great. And I had a friend who just did one. And really? it's a tremendous amount of work yeah. because you're making a lot of cuts. But if you can have a saw like this where you can make your measurements and then you can cut it, and you know you're always choosing those different pieces of the mm -hmm. pallet so it has that, that really cool look, this is going to be perfect. So if you're thinking about that, okay, the pallet wall is just one, but then there's so many different craft things that you can do as well with a small saw that's smooth, easy to operate. I think you'll feel comfortable with this. Again, it's two handles on this saw every single time. You've got the blade guard right there. So you can leave the blade guard in. Sometimes I pull the blade, blade guard up and then let it go while you're cutting, however you want to do it. I mean, you can go into the cut and let it just pull that guard oh, back. However neat. you want to use this, but I think you're going to feel comfortable with it. I think you're going to feel like, wow, I can handle this saw. And, and that's why you want it. And then when yeah. you use it, it's smooth. It makes those cuts. You're going to love it. A lot of times it's just about having the right tools to get the job done right. the right way. I mean, it's like painters need good paint brushes. You need sure. good cooking utensils, right? It's the same deal. The job might not actually be that hard to do, but if you're using the wrong tools, you're making it harder on yourself. So Definitely. I think that's the beauty of this. I love that it's easier to handle because it's smaller, but it's still got the power that you're seeing now. Watch this. So even something like this, I can plunge cut in all those directions. I mean, just to cut that little box out. Now that's not the neatest box we've ever done. But I mean, just how quick that is. I didn't have any pencil marks on there, but again, it makes it so quick. And there is not another circular saw, you know, those big large ones that can do this, where I can take my time, go back and forth, mm -hmm. then plunge cut again and go back and forth. I mean, it really is a very unique saw. And this technology of those counter rotating blades. Right. I mean, you saw how smooth it was. I remember in the day where you wanted to cut this out, even if it was drywall, you would have that little hand saw uh -huh. that you'd have to poke through there and then go back and forth a thousand times to get that. But look at the difference here those three and a half inch counter rotating blades. And you can see the way the teeth, you know what this really acts like? If you think about how a scissor works, yeah. right? How it's oh, yeah. cutting like that. Same thing, because when those blades are coming together in either direction, it makes it such a smooth cut. So you can definitely handle this. So whether it's for you, or for that guy at home, right? I, I'm the a guy at home who's supposed to do this. Of like, Here you I go. know that I've got a long <laughs> list at home, and this is gonna make it easier once I get to that long well, DIY That's why I love list. this. You gotta have the everyday tools to take on those types of jobs as well, for sure. And you know, the, the price break on this, it's a great time to pick this thing up. Maybe for the new year, you're like, you know, this year I wanna make my house a home. I wanna get these projects done. These are the types of tools you're gonna need to get it done. So you can order by calling that number on your screen. You can go to H hsn.com we have a free app you can use for android or apple devices you can order that way as well and if you want to take advantage of those flex payments remember that's for everyone it's interest free you're not signing up for anything so you can break up that 97 dollars into five equal monthly installments interest free so 19 dollars and change and we send it to you right away it's not like layaway and you can start tackling those projects and yeah, see what a difference it can right make. we're talking about the diy projects, and we're talking about some of the crafty things you might want to do but if you thought about a one project that could really change the way your home looks. Mm -hmm. If you could use this to put down that hardwood flooring or that, uh, I should say, the, uh, the LVT flooring, whatever that is, and you do this, and then you add the, the uh, baseboard molding, yeah. and you can do all of it on your own with a saw like this. I mean, that changes the look of a house really quickly. And remember, that's all that snap and lock flooring that mm -hmm. you can put down. That could be you a weekend project, yeah, honestly. You can definitely do it with a saw like this. And I just think about how much how amazing your home would look. It's a complete different change with new flooring and new framing and yeah, baseboards. That'd really, be really nice. It's like a facelift around the house. Right, this right? will let you do it, for sure. <laughs> so we mentioned earlier the yeah. extras you can pick sure. up. I just want to show everyone um, what the options are for you. Love the bag. So this Can't bag will hold everything. It's got the handles yep. too. Um, it's big enough, but I also put other tools in there oh, that yeah. you might need with it. Yeah, the bag's Very big nice. That's only $49.99. 